Hello, welcome to another episode of Ask Auntie. In today's episode, I'm going to answer yet another question that I've been asked a lot of late. I don't know if people are going through some sort of a midlife crisis because of the pandemic or what it is, but people seem to be juggling way too many things at once. So a question that I've been asked a lot of late, especially by men, is, hey, I'm about to change my career and I'm about to change my job. Do you think this is going to have an impact on my chances of getting married? Uh, people are either moving abroad or they're moving uh, companies or they're uh, changing uh, functions and they find that they're unable to make this change in their career because they're too afraid that this change in their career is going to have an impact on their chances of finding a partner. So I'm just going to say one thing, guys. Finding a partner and doing something with your career are two very, very big things individually. And when you try to mix both of these and, and you're trying to optimize for both of them at once, you're just complicating matters a lot. So the best way to approach this is one at a time, right? Now, how do you figure out which one you do first? Now, I want you to take a step back. I want you to first ask yourself why it is that you are looking to get married. What is the point of trying to find a partner at this point of time in your life? Why do you want to get married at this point of time in your life? If the answer to that question is companionship. I don't want to die alone. Um, I'm afraid that if I wait any longer, I'm not going to be able to find a partner, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are all not good reasons to be married. A reasonable reason to be married is I am looking for a companion. I am at that point in my life where I'm able to prioritize family, building a relationship, and settling down so that I can grow my family and so on. That's usually a good reason to want to get married at a particular point in time in life. Anything else that comes from a place of fear, anxiety, of ending up alone, uh, etc. are not good reasons because that just means that you will not have the time or the mental bandwidth to invest in this relationship. So best avoided when you are making this decision out of fear. Once you have very convincing, solid answers for these, the confusion will automatically resolve itself. You're not crazy in believing that these two are related to each other because I ran a survey on Twitter after I got quite a few people asking me this question to figure out how many people actually uh, believe that these two are related. Now, I think about 100 people answered this survey and I saw that over a third of people actually believe uh, that there is a strong correlation between uh, one's career and one's chances of finding a partner. So you are not crazy in thinking that. But having said that, let me break this down to you and say that these are two independent decisions that require your entire commitment and when I say commitment, it's not just at this point of time to make the decision, but to see the decision through. Once you find yourself a partner, you need to work on building that relationship. So it takes at least a couple of years for you to get to a place where you can settle down and focus on other things in your life apart from building this relationship. Even career, right? You make a career switch, you move geography or company or whatever. It takes you a good six months to a year before you settle down and feel secure um, and have the bandwidth to focus on other things. So if you try to do both of them at once, likely you're not going to be doing justice uh, to either of them. So I suggest you take them one at a time. But to answer the very specific question around will my career have an impact on my chances of finding a partner? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. Um, so this entirely depends on your particular situation. For example, uh, people who come to me and they say that, hey, I'm looking to move to Canada, um, but I would really like to meet the person and spend time with them before I get married. Now, given your situation uh, you may be restricted to um, 
dating people or you know getting married to people who are based in the same city or based in the same country as you you unfortunately will not be able to look at partners who live outside of your country because given travel restrictions right now or you know how much you can travel at any other point of time uh your sample size is limited so when you actually make a move let's say you know you're in india and you have the option to meet everybody who's in that marriageable age in india uh, at that point of time this might be a larger pool compared to let's say indians in canada for instance right so of course you know these changes in your life are going to have an impact um in terms of um, finding a partner but it entirely depends on your personal situation if you're very happy to you know have a long distance sort of relationship with somebody and build that over time and you have that time and bandwidth to uh make this work then maybe you know the impact is limited but it really depends on your situation now if you have a question like that uh and you would like to discuss your particular situation with me please feel free to book a, a session with me and we can work through uh whatever changes you're making in your life and i can help you resolve that in your head in terms of when is the right time for you to make those changes uh remember that I cannot answer that question for you you will answer that on your own and actually in fact everybody knows what is the right thing for them to do it's just that um in order to sort of minimize the amount of work that's involved people try to sort of optimize many things at once so that you know it's this whole two birds with one stone uh philosophy that people use uh but unfortunately guys these are two important decisions in your life and unfortunately you cannot be stingy when it comes to investing your time or bandwidth uh, with respect to this those of you who are single and going through this exact same dilemma and uh, you're looking for a support group um, i am starting a little support group for my clients uh, of marriage broker aunty um So if you're interested do sign up on my website do a session with me and you can uh, be a part of this support group so that you can talk to each other uh, understand uh, the struggles and challenges that people are going through in this situation where they're trying to juggle um career changes with trying to find themselves a partner um as usual good luck happy spouse hunting i hope that this uh, helped uh, resolve some sort of confusion in your head um, and this was useful if you have any feedback thoughts comments anything at all please feel free to uh, leave them below and i'll be happy to engage with you do visit our website marriagebrokeranti.com i'll leave a link to that in the description box below and um, i look forward to engaging with you in the future good luck